Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can send an email using ASP.NET in Visual Studio 2005 environment. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to, to send an email uh, using the ASP.NET 2.0 technology. So uh, this is the form that I've created in uh, Visual Studio 2005. Now, uh, before I sh get into the code and show you all that, uh, let me just show you how exactly it's going to look like uh, the uh, after we have sent the email. So let's say uh, I'm going to write my name here. Say uh, test name. There's going to be the name that will be displayed once we have received the email. Uh, my email address will be say test at name dot com. It's just a test name. Okay. Uh, this is just a test uh, message body using ASP dot net technology technology sometimes I get you know uh, I'm not too good with the spellings so now what we'll do is that we'll just try to send this email and uh, let's see if it is successful or not it is trying to send and now the email has been sent successfully and now let's see if uh, now let's see if we have received the email or not let me go to my Outlook Express or out, uh, Microsoft Outlook and uh, Let's see. Let's try to send and receive, and uh, let's see if we have received it. It is uh, going to contact the server, and sometimes it can cause some delays. It depend. It depends on the uh, network traffic. So uh, now it is trying to send and receive, and we should be receiving an email anytime soon. So I think yes, we have received an email. Uh, yes, there it is and uh, let's open the email and let's see how it looks like okay yeah this is the email that we have sent that was the name remember test name test at name dot com and I wrote in the message body this is just a test so this is how it's going to be look like it's going to look like once we have written the code so let me just show you the coding that I've written. It's so simple you won't believe it. But let me go to my Visual Studio. This is the form. This is called the uh, designer. Okay. And let me go to the code behind or uh, CS file of this button. I'll just double click this one and it will bring up the uh, the form. This is the as you can notice it is having it is having the extension aspx.cs. CS is a C sharp. Uh, we, and we are working in the C sharp uh, language, not VB. But VB people can also use the same thing. All they have to do is just change the syntax. For example, uh, uh, instead of using the uh, instead of having the using keyword, and the main thing is uh, here we are using the namespace called system.net.mail. This is the namespace that is doing everything for you, and this is having all the classes that Microsoft has, Microsoft team has written for you. So you don't have to do much of the things. So all you have to do is just import or, you know, include this class or namespace, so to speak, in your code, and that's it. Just call some uh, classes, methods, and uh, and then it will do the job. Now, uh, this is the code behind for the button send email click. When the user clicks on this mail, this button, this things execute. So here, this is we have declared an object of the SMTP class. Okay and same thing for the message and now we are trying to create an object for the mail address this is also part of the system.net.mail namespace now what we are doing is we are trying to capture the email and the name for example when the user will receive an email the name what name should be appear for example if I check here say it is asking for the address the address that is here and the name that will be displayed so we are capturing the name from the text box, from the text box uh, right here, okay? And the email address is right here. I mean, this is my email address. Okay, this is the from address object name. Now, uh, since I have hosted this one in the domain called the itvideos.com, <coughs> and I'm using the SMTP thing, and then we can use the property called SMTP host. SMTP is having a property called host. For example, as you can see, 
right here this is the property of SMTP object and then you just have to include this one but if you are hosting it from your local PC you can say local host and then it will do the job and by default we'll be using the port 25 you don't you don't have to get deep down inside like why the port 25 is used and all that just remember that by default we will be using port 25 for sending emails using the SMTP client now we are in, we are trying to assign the address the from address it is having the details here into this one and then remember the and this is the two address where the email will be sent for example this one I have set, I have set up this outlook to email right here I have set up the message to I have set up my outlook express to this email address and then of course if you want you can also include the CC or the BCC uh, so to speak and also you can have the subject property the message is having the subject property you can have it or you can hard code it or you can also include this one in your message right here and are you sending the trying to send the message as your HTML or your or is it going to be just a plain message well it is going to be a plain message that's why we said is body HTML no it is not an HTML it's just a plain text now we go down and then uh, this is the body of the message and this text box is right here as you can see in the property this is the name of the text box this is the name of the text box right here and we are trying we are assigning the value of this text box into the body of the uh, message now the main thing starts from here this one line does the whole thing now of course we have included this one in the try catch block because if something goes wrong it will catch an exception here so we just want to make sure that everything everything goes smoothly and our code does not break so I've, that's the reason why I've included this one in the try catch block now if everything is okay we will receive uh, a message saying the email sent successfully just like you saw it here email sent successfully now if there is any problem we will receive let me get that out of the way if there's any problem or there was an exception or something we will receive the control will come down here it will catch an exception and then it will say send email fail and then whatever the uh, error was it will be concatenated with uh, with this message so I think that's just about it and then if you want to reset something for example if you want to clear the clear up the fields this is the button for that the reset button and what the reset button will do is that it will only clear up the fields for example it will clear the text box message and all that it's just so simple it's pretty much it so the may I'll just to summarize all that we have included the namespace that is system.net.mail uh, create an object of these classes these classes are inside these namespaces and then you just assign the host to this your server or your uh, website set the port to 25 and then and then mention the to address and then the subject and that's it and then try it and then just send the message to 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 the email address that's it and then include this one in the try catch log that's pretty much it i hope you like this video for more videos keep watching my other videos thank you very much for watching this thank you very much for watching this video and uh, stay tuned for more videos which i'll be making in a short time thank you very much